Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Minnesota hospitals are packed full of flu patients and Minnesota schools are taking a big hit. It is happening several weeks before what's normal in our state. Here's the latest flu numbers from the state. The red line is where we are right now. And you can see cases in schools rising several weeks earlier than previous years. Morgan Wolf spoke to healthcare professionals about this early spike. Morgan. Yes, I found out that Twin Cities emergency rooms are reaching their capacity, and this is why we are seeing early flu spikes right now with this yellow line here. It has healthcare workers urging people to take precautions if you're sick. You know, what's different about this flu season is that it is also starting at the same time we are still dealing with COVID and we are also seeing a surge in RSV. Respiratory illnesses are rocking Minnesota, especially hitting our schools. Bertha Hewitt School District joining the list of those who have had to switch to remote learning due to high reports of illnesses. This is the time of the year people are congregating more indoors and just in contact and direct contact more than they are during warmer seasons. And it's just that time of year when these when these uh, illnesses spread very quickly. Alina House Ryan L says that this flu season is hitting earlier than last year, especially for kids. Children are more susceptible in general because of a lot of the current illnesses that are in our communities, they have not seen in their life. So if your child is showing any symptoms, keep them home. Absolutely, keep them home, keep them safe, and let them return to school based on their school policy. K-12 schools report from the state health department classifies an outbreak of influenza-like illnesses when the number of students absent from it reach 5% of a total enrollment. And this red line shows that there was a peak two weeks ago with now over 700 outbreaks reported this season. Hopefully with uh, preventative measures, with vaccinations, we can uh, manage what we're seeing and, and get through this winter season. And I did see some statistics that showed a slight drop across the nation in flu vaccine shots. It's never too late to get a COVID booster. Both of those will help protect you as much as possible heading into this winter season. Slowing the spread isn't just to keep you and your loved ones safe, but also to control the stress on hospitals and clinics. With all of the pressures on health care right now, everyone is really tired. Doctors say if you catch your symptoms early, you can get prescribed medicine to clear it up faster. For COVID, Paxlovid can also dramatically shorten um, the duration of symptoms as well as the need for hospitalization. Minnesota isn't alone. The CDC reports 44 states are dealing with very high or high levels of flu activity. Healthcare workers I spoke to say to avoid hospitals by making your appointments with your primary care or going to urgent care. And as someone who just had the flu, I can tell you that virtual visits can save you a lot of time and energy. All right, we're glad you're back and feeling better. Thanks, Morgan. Well, as Morgan mentioned, the CDC says your best protection from the flu is a flu shot. And this year's dose, they say, is a good match for the circulating strains. But Americans are not taking advantage. According to the CDC, flu vaccines are down 12% for pregnant women compared to last year. They're down 3% for seniors. And 5% less children have their shot compared to before the pandemic. The Minnesota Health Department says just 33% of Minnesotans are vaccinated for the flu.